For most people with multiple sclerosis, or MS, it is better to start taking MS drugs early on, rather than letting the disease run its course. That's the recommendation of a new guideline published by the American Academy of Neurology. Dr. Alexander Ray Grant is lead author. So we know that with multiple sclerosis, there's an ongoing development of new lesions in the brain and new relapses that occurs over time. The earlier we can get in and stop those happening, the more likely it is people will have a long and fruitful life and a less disability over time. MS is a chronic inflammatory condition that causes substantial disability and increased risk of death. MS symptoms include vision problems, muscle weakness, tremors, and trouble with coordination. While some treatments only help to manage symptoms, disease-modifying therapies can alter or change the course of the disease. We used to have a handful of medications, primarily injection medicines. We now have a number of oral agents, new injection medicines, new infusion medicines, all of them with different side effects and complications and monitoring strategies. So it's a really much more complicated landscape. If a person who uses an MS drug experiences a return of disease activity, they may need to switch to another MS drug. Some people whose MS is stable may consider stopping the use of MS drugs, but few studies have been done about the benefits or risks of stopping MS drugs. According to Dr. Ray Grant, it is important for people with MS to work with their doctors to determine the right course of action. Really a lot depends on individual preference, a lot depends on what kind of other medical problems that person with MS has and is trying to get the right fit for them initially when they start treatment. 